Hey guys, welcome back to Morrowind Overhaul version 3.0. My name is Zach, and we're here at the Urshilaku camp. And what we are doing right now is that we have to solve a kind of riddle. Uh, as you can see here, I have to solve this riddle. The eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. Mouth of the cave lies in the skin of the pearl. The dream is the door, and the star is the key. So I have to figure out what these things are, and I have to find my way over to some secret location. So let's start with you guys over here. I think I've heard of you before. Well, that's good. Well, Tusuradad, let's uh, have a look at what you can help me out uh, with. Let's see, Eye of the Needle. This token of our tribe, Malipu Ataman's belt, is proof of Sulmato's blessing. Ah, oh, yeah, the belt he gave me. Perhaps you mean the needle? It is a tall rock column in the Valley of the Wind. I've slept beneath it once or twice. The Valley of the Wind is a valley of the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The entrance of the valley is marked by Iron's teeth, two tall rock spires. Okay, that's a good start. Valley of the Wind. There are two valleys side by side on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The westmost valley is called Dry Camp Valley. The camps have no water, but they are sheltered from the wind. Duna Caverns are also there. The Valley of the Wind is the eastmost valley. It runs long and straight south between Iron's Teeth and climbs towards Red Mountain. The mouths of these valleys are to the east of the coast, along uh, east along the coast, past Butuand, a Dwemer ruin, and just past Zergo Nepal, a Daedric ruin. Turn south. Okay. Let's see. Eye of the Needle, Valley of the Wind. Anything else you can help me out with? Uh, skin of the Pearl. Uh -huh, just a moment, you mentioned the Needle Valley of the Wind. I recall at the top of that tall spire is not white, but a much lighter than the other rocks nearby. The head of the Valley of the Wind sits right under the Needle. It's good, safe campground, sheltered from wind, with only one approach. That whitish rock at the top of the Needle, that might be the Pearl you're looking for. Okay, that's good. Um, do you have any other... I think that's all... He knows. Let's ask around. Maybe we can find someone else. How about you? Do you have something? Uh, yes, Shabin Bile. Um, I have a needle. That's the same. Skin of the pearl. Teeth of the wind. Valley of the wind. That's oh, teeth of the wind. You bear. Okay, this is new. Uh, no place. But there's a place called Iron Seat. Oh, it's these are the two rock spires he mentioned. Okay. I. Th anything else? No. That seems to be all. Let's uh, consult with the wise woman. Maybe she knows something. Uh, what's her name again? Is it Nibani Maesa? Yes, a it is. Welcome to you. Thank you. Uh, let's see if you know. What is that? Okay. Um, doesn't seem like the dream is the door. This is a common phrase among wise women. Dreams or vision of prophecy. Uh, the star is the key. Ah, the star is Azura. Azura's star appears in the sky only at the magical hour between day and night, at dawn and twilight. Okay, that's handy. Um, the moon star... I think that's... Uh, that's all I need. Let me check my journal. Let me go back, let's see. The eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. The mouth of the cave lies in the skin of the pearl. The dream is the door and the star is the key. Looks like I have everything. The mouth of the cave doesn't seem to be something I need to ask around for. Because I'm guessing that just means the entrance. Ooh, this guy's sitting in the pond of something. Zenabai Aduni. Do you know anything about the mouth of the cave? No, I'm gonna guess that is all the clues I can get from these people. How so about Hainab? Mouth of the cave? No, okay, so that seems like all we can get. Looking at our map, which is, yes, it is now fixed. Northeast of Red Mountain is this big valley here. So I'm gonna guess it's one of these. This, this looks like a nice valley. Um... But there's, it, he also said it's closer to the coast. So I'm going to run over to this area and try find those signs we're looking for. It's just going to be over in this direction. And I'm going to use my boots of blinding speed or shoes of blinding speed to run over there. And let's see what we can get. And fight a bunch of animals along the way. All right, let's see what's over there. Oh, this is a good sign. Looks like this is a Dwemer ruin. 
which I think was mentioned in the the clues. So this was a Dwemer ruin, and we're also supposed to pass a uh, Daedric ruin before we turn right to head south. Uh, ooh, let's kill this Quama Worm! Ah. Quama Forager. Always the meanest of enemies. Anyway, we're already over here. Zergo Nepal, I think that is the Dwemer ruin they were talking about, but we still have to keep heading east, and uh, let's see where that Daedric Shrine is. Oh, it turns out it's just over here. Okay, so uh, these cliff races are the most annoying things in the world. They can actually catch up to me with my boots on. Uh, it, they move insanely fast. Anyway, this is in the Shiogorad region, apparently. And this is... Oh, this is the actual Daedric Shrine. So just past this, we should be able to see the entrance to the the place we're looking for. It's uh, two tall rock spires and should be the entrance to this valley. Let's see if it's just down here. That looks like a rock spire. And uh, I don't see a second one though. Oh, this is one valley. Is this, are these two rock spires? I, it looks pointy enough. Let me deal with these things first so they don't distract me. Do these things cast spells? Come on, then. And you. Come on, Cliff Racer! Ah, oh, these things are so annoying. Oh! But that does look like two rock spires. This is where the valley is, and this should be Iron's Teeth. So, in Iron's Teeth, there should be um, some kind of spire with a white pearl on top. So, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. Let's kill this Kaguti and head into the valley and see what we can find. Oh, looks like we're approaching something interesting. There's a magical looking door. And um, I wouldn't really call that a kind of needle. But this mountain does have a lighter color top on it compared to these other rocks. So... Yeah, just looking at these cliffs around, it does look like it stands out. And in our map, as you can see, we've kind of spiraled round to the peak of this place. So let's see what this is. Um, is this what we're looking for? Cavern of the Incarnate! Ah, okay. So this is uh, probably what we're looking for. Uh, it doesn't specifically say Cavern of the Incarnate, I think. Um... But, yeah, okay, so um, before I head in here, let's take a potion of Restore Fatigue. There we go. Just consume one of those, make sure we're raring to go. Now, let's try head on inside. The door is locked and will not open. The star is the key. Okay, uh, the star is a key. Ah, yes, that's in my journal. Star is a key, star is a key. Let's check. Uh, the star is Azura. Azura star appears in the sky only at the magical hour between day and night at dawn and twilight. Okay, so what time is it now? I can't rest as enemies nearby. Ah, uh, let me go deal with them. Okay, I could rest just a bit down the road, so no enemies are nearby here. So currently it's 10 p.m., so I'm gonna rest until it's 6, so that is 8 hours. Uh, yes, that is correct. So I'm going to rest for 8 hours, and let's hope nothing spawns right next to me. Oh! Stop. <laughs> My rest has been interrupted by uh, a diseased Kaguti. Okay, what time is it? It's 5 a.m. Just rest for 1 hour, and uh, it should be dawn. Uh, or at least consider dawn. Oh, there's that cliff racer that's stopping me from resting. So let's rest for 1 hour, and the sun should be up. Yeah, that's correct. Um, it's as much as a dawn as you can get in these dusty ashland regions. Now, this is... should work. We should be able to enter the Cavern of the Incarnate. Let's give it a shot. In the dawn hour under Azura's star, the door is opened. Awesome. We're going on inside. Hopefully there's no massive enemies we have to fight. Oh, okay. This is interesting. 
Let's just approach cautiously. I don't see anything going on. Uh, there's a dead person over there. Which uh, I just realized my crosshairs turned off. What do I turn that back on? Why is this off? Let's put that back on. That's better. Um, okay, there's some dead people here. I'm hoping I don't end up like that. Oh, that is interesting though. What is this? A z moon and star. Ah, this is the thing I need to prove that I'm the Nervarine. Um, I guess I just take it? The cavern's not going to collapse on me, is it? Okay, here we go. Nerevar reborn. Incarnate. Your first three trials are finished. Now, two new trials lie before you. Seek the Ashlander, Ashkans, and the Great House Counselors. Four tribes must name you Nerevarin. Three houses must name you Hortator. My servant, Nabane Meza, shall be your guide. And when you are Hortator and Nerevarin, when you have stood before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people and restore Morrowind. Do this for me and with my blessing. Well, um, she sounds awfully British. <laughs> ah, ah. Ah. Why are things scaring me in this episode again? Okay, so these dead people have come back as ghosts. Um, okay, so brief overview. I gotta get four tribes to say I'm the boss, and I gotta get all three houses to say I'm on the boss as well. I'm gonna guess I can put my sword away in this location. Let me double check my journal. I saw Azura in the Cavern of Incarnate, received the Moon and Star, an Enchanted Ring. I am the Nervarine. I have passed the first three trials, and now I must show Moon and Star to the Ashkens and prove blah blah blah. Next two trials, Nibani Maesa shall be my guide. Okay, um, well, first of all, let's put this ring on. Uh, we don't need this crappy ring of fireballs. Let's take that off. And Moon and Star, the badass ring, let's Put that on. Yes, we are now the Nerevar. But let's have a chat with you ghosty people, Peak Star. Let's see. Welcome incarnate, Moon and Star Reborn, Hortator, Nerevarine, Mourner of the Tribe Unmourned, Redeemer of the False Gods. I am Peak Star. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. Ask and I shall answer if wisdom guides me. Oh, these are all people who tried to be the Nerevarine, but died here. Well, I came close. Um, let me just... Oh, I was not the one. Uh, I'm a failed incarnate, so uh, all of those who remain here with me in the cavern of the incarnate. I survived the blight, but I fell in battle with an ash vampire. I could not master the arts of war, nor could I learn the ways of the great houses. They would not have accepted me as Hortator. Take these few poor things, they are of no use to me. Peak Star's belt, travel stained pants, and my journal has been updated. So it seems like these people will give me stuff. If you guys want to read all of these things, you can pause the video at any point and read it. There you go. I'm gonna have a chat with all of these people. Anteria. Hello, Anteria. Ask you my story. 36 Lessons of Vivex Sermon 12 has been added. And Anteria's Mace has been added to my inventory. Oh, okay, cool. You guys can check that out. Uh, who else is around here? How about you? Erudan. Welcome incarnate. As for my sorry. Oh, more cool stuff. Erudan's Spear and Erudan's Quirus. Very nice. What else have you guys got for me? I'm just... I'm basically robbing the dead. Idrinia Nerothan. Uh, how about your story? Master's Lockpick, Master's Probe. Very nice. You are a thief. Okay. Um, you are a thief? An answer has no trade. Okay. And how about you? Konun Chodala. Okay. Uh, how about your story? Conan Chudala's axe, Conan Chudala's boots. Okay, very nice. Um, yeah, there's, there's these stories for each of these people. I don't have time to read all of them. 
can't get through here. And one more, as far as I can see. Last one, Hort Lead. I notice they're all Dark Elves. Okay, how about you? Hort Lead, your story. Sithis. Sithis has been added to my inventory, and Hort Lead's robe has been added to my inventory. Okay. So let's have a quick look at all of this loot we just got. We got these lockpicks. Uh huh. What is Sithis? It's a book. Alteration skill increase. Not bad. A uh, little book for you guys to read. What else did we get? Uh, 36 lessons of Vivek. Lesson 12. Heavy armor increased. Nice. Okay. Um, oh, in case you guys actually want to read this. There you go. And... Um, Belt of Hearthfire. This is... I don't know what that is. Adric stuff. Antaria's Mace, Damage Speed, and Damage Agility. Kanun Chodala's Axe, Fortify Attack. Let's see, Erin Dansphere, Poison. Uh, Fury, where did I get this? I don't even remember. Uh, Kanun Chodala's Boots, Fortify Endurance and Speed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, Erin Dan's Quiris, Restore Health and Restore Fatigue Cast When Used. Okay, so pretty decent stuff. I'm not sure if I'll use it all. I'm not gonna spend my time looking at all of this stuff. But it seems like I have actually passed the third trial. I am now officially the Nervarine, but I need to get people to believe me. So before I continue on with the rest of the missions, I'm gonna end this video here because the next part seems like a long one where I have to convince four tribes and all three houses to accept me as the Nerevarine Nerevara, and the Hortator. So that's a long quest ahead of me. I'll end this one here. Nothing too much on this video, but I think we went through quite a bit of story and a nice cinematic. So that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.